let's try this again good morning <laughs> and welcome back to Jenny's journey so today is a continuation of my last week in life i am still studying for boards you guys make sure you go check out that video there and because i've really really been um trying to focus and study and last week i really got into it I was really getting into studying and I was studying quite a bit. So my mom, she was like, well, maybe, you know, on Friday, cause she's off for every Friday, we can go to Philadelphia to get cheesesteaks. So we went, she wanted me to try this new place that her um, her friends have found and it was phenomenal. So you guys make sure you check out that vlog as well. But we're getting right back into it. You guys already know what the study plan is. Let me, let me put it on the screen right here to remind you. <laughs> So I started plan is to make sure we continue. Um, I'm at the tail end of this nap nap review course. Y'all, it's hard studying at home. I really wish I could go like to Panera or Starbucks comfortably. I don't feel comfortable going, so I'm not gonna go. But I get a little bit tired and then it's also taken me quite a bit to get through the review course because as I go through each module, I am reinforcing that information by looking at my pigmonics and using my pediatric nurse practitioner certification review book. And I am um, answering questions. So you guys already know review course, pigmonic questions, 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 questions. And I'm just... Yeah, so um, tomorrow and Tuesday um, starts my official review course that I, um, my official review course through, the, through Fitzgerald. And it's gonna be two days from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. with breaks and lunches in between. So you guys already know what I'm about to say. If you're studying for boards, if you're any boards, nurse practitioner boards, NCLEX boards, make sure you purchase a review course, make sure you answer questions. The question banks that I'm using, I am using Rosh Review and Board Vitals. So yeah, I'll leave those um, in the description box. Anywho, um, I just want to say good morning. Let's get into this week's vlog. Y'all yeah, make sure y'all go check out this vlog. It was so much fun. It was just literally a couple hours and then we came back home. song on repeat cause you seem to forget how much you are hurting me do what's right you say you will but then you don't you just don't you don't care cause you don't take me seriously what's there to repair if you don't Oh, and I just want to mention, I get asked this question all the time, if it is truly necessary to have both a tablet and a computer, because you guys know, or I've posted like several pictures, um, especially with me um, explaining how much I love Pigmonic, and I usually have like my tablet and my computer in the picture, or you guys see me studying with my computer and my tablet. And I say, I, I, this is why, and the reason I prefer to study this way is I am saving so many trees. Like, first of all, not only am I saving trees, but I have every single lecture and PowerPoint right here that I need and that I can easily reference, go to. And I use a an app called Notability where it makes it much easier for me to write and take notes and I can bookmark the important pages that I would need to go back and look at if, you know, when I wanted to go quick reference something. While I personally use both, you don't have to use both. You can definitely, if you want, just take notes based upon the PowerPoints that your providers and the instructors or whatever courses you take in 
um, provide or print out your PowerPoints. Um, my friend Joanne, hi to do. Um, she did not like being an electronic student or a digital student, however you want to say it. And she went back to printing all of her PowerPoint. So it's whatever works and whatever is convenient for you. Just pick something that one works for you and stick with it. Um, and I would try it like at the very beginning of your program if you found me, luckily before then. And if not, um, give it a try if you have a tablet for like your first test or something because your first test they kind of ease you into the semester so at the beginning of the semester maybe try it and see if it works for you and if it doesn't just go back go back to what works for you so um i just like to put that disclaimer out there um because i do get um asked i actually get um asked that question quite a bit is it necessary to have both and it's i mean it's it's whatever you prefer um so let me get back into study. You should know your time is up. I'm out. I'm done. So I'm putting you on a lifetime sentence. And you'll no longer feel my presence. So you thought I would let this. So another pearl of the day, I probably should save it for tomorrow, but anyway, is when you're studying, um, especially if you're a nurse practitioner studying um, for boards, the main important things you want to focus on is what is something that you would commonly see in practice, whether you're acute care or primary care. Number one, what are those things you're going to see in practice? And if you're a registered nurse already, especially for me as pediatrics, um, I've seen a, a I've seen quite a bit of these things, um, one as a registered nurse and then a lot of it in my clinical rotation. So what you want to focus on is how the kid is going to present and, you know, understanding the the process of that diagnosis, exactly how does this kid present, how does this happen, and how do you diagnose this or what symptom symptomology are you looking for in order to diagnose this child with whatever um, illness or disease you think they have. Diagnostic tests um, should you run, if any, and after you figured out what it is, how do you manage it? Um, is it supportive care? Do we have to prescribe medication? Do they need to be hospitalized? Do they need to have surgery? So when you're um, studying, um, you just want to keep your mindset on that. And especially when you're doing case studies. Like that's why I say answer questions all the time because look at what they're asking you. And if they're asking you something specific about a specific age and a specific gender, then you need to like hone in on that because certain diagnoses affect girls more than boys, certain diagnoses, um, especially for pediatrics, certain age groups, and it doesn't affect others. So you just kind of want to keep all of that in mind. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> Ma! Yeah. Guess what? What? I'm going to Puerto Rico in September on my first mission trip. Finally. Finally! You know how many years I've been trying to go on a mission trip? You going with Dr. Smith? No, another organization. So what is it going to cost you? $850 mm -hmm. for seven days. Okay. But I don't think that covers my flight. Where you're gonna be? Where I told Audria. Oh, when she said north or something. Yeah, that part of the island where her parents um honeymooned. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So they said they're gonna send information with the deposit. Um, they'll send more information with the deposit information. Let's go to Puerto Rico. Are you going as a what? A nurse, a nurse practitioner? As a professional, is their students and professionals. So I'm a healthcare professional. Doing what? Like, what per tale? What work will we be doing? Community care missions, home to home missions, distributing home care supplies, providing health education, and having quality visits with the community members. Visit the island's most isolated grade schools to provide health care education, typically deep in the mountains. 
and then nonprofit assistance is join other nonprofits across the island to assist in healthcare related events, blood drives, vaccination events, screenings, etc. The work is determined by the organization we're um, assisting at that time. In September, what to what? September 13th through 19th. Looks like Neandra will be coming to Puerto Rico. <laughs> she can't. She. <laughs> Y'all think I have an issue being a mama girl? <laughs> she has an issue of letting. I'm just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> we going to Puerto Rico! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So yeah, we could probably fly together because um, I just they'll pick me up from the airport, so I got probably get my own flight. Let me put y'all down so I can do my happy dance. The original, I want you to go in June, but that date filled up so fast. Just turn behind you. Uh-uh. No, because behind me is backlit. Because oh. the sun back there, that's why I had to turn that light on. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I was supposed to be studying, but I saw that email come through and I... Uh, what did you say? Talking to the vlog. Oh. Saw the email come through and I just wanted to share the news with you guys and mom at the same time so that you both can get my initial reaction, my true excitement because this has been like, since I became a nurse, I've, well, before I became a nurse, I wanted to do mission trips, but I've been trying to go on a mission trip since I became a nurse. When I first moved to Connecticut, I was supposed to go to somewhere like over in Asia on a mission trip. I know, right? And then me and Dr. Um, Smith, my mentor, my other mama, <laughs> um, we were supposed to go on a mission trip to, was the Virgin Islands? Now I forget where we were supposed to go um, back in April of last year and in, um, it's gonna be April and June, I think. And I was gonna go on both. And of course, I mean, it's an out of co it's an out of pocket cost for me, but I mean, I don't think you could put a price on um, you know helping others and being kind and just giving back to human nature. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm so 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 excited. I'm getting ready to do Pitmonic as always. You guys know I love Pitmonic. And I'm getting ready to do asthma. And actually, we're going to go back to the very beginning of what they have to offer. So let's go to browse. Courses. So I, I've showed you guys Pitmonic before, and I'll link those videos up above. But what we're going to do is you can search by courses. And these are the courses, anatomy, physiology, microbiology, pathology, so on and so forth, obstetrics pediatrics or you can search by specific body systems so um you see that there but we're going to go back up to courses we're going to go to pediatrics because i want to specifically study pediatric asthma and then so it's six pick minutes 11 minutes and yep that's what we're going to do food beta 2 agonist asthma shown by the inhaler is an obstructive lung disease Illustrated by the broccoli choking a pair of lungs. Thought you knew me so much better. You're on a lifetime sentence. So now you never feel my presence. So you thought I would let this slip. Thought you knew me so much better. I'm coming. So you guys, I am like a kid on the first day of school. Yes, I'm enthusiastic like that. And <laughs> I already have all my stuff set up here. I'm gonna sit at the table. Um, it's a live streamed course, so everyone will be on at the same time on a Zoom like call. Um, I gathered, and so I have um my book here and my computer already in set up. My headphones, just in case it gets too loud. I know I'm super lame, right? 
But tomorrow is my very first day of my nurse practitioner certification review course. I am ready and glad that it's here because I'm just ready to take boards and get it over with. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Say bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early at 8 a.m. for our review course. Bye. During the NP boards. This is very, very important, okay? And I'm sure as you went through school, this was where you had to sort of switch your thinking, okay? You weren't going to be thinking like a nurse anymore. You were going to start to think like a provider, okay? And remember, when your child has, you know, quote, unquote, enough information, However, still kind of be cognizant of the time because it does shut down when the clock runs out. You will be able to highlight items for later review and you want to make sure you answer all the questions. Four. Four, they can speak in four word sentences, okay? So their speech is much, much clearer, okay? And they can build a four block tower with ease. Time takes a toll on everyone, they say. Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change. Time, I am stressing out, I can't figure out what to say. Oh, time, just give us time. Time, looking back on pictures, and I find of life okay because look the most important time to find a problem is when the issue can be found at the earliest opportunity for hearing defects okay and it's going to be the earliest answer in this in this um out of these four and that's in the first days of life and we know that because we know that every baby gets a hearing screen when they're born places where we used to be all our time we got older babe and I want to stay with you Don't get time for games Now what you want to do Tell me now if you will go with me all the way Every night, every day, promise will never change Hi you guys and happy Monday! So as you can tell I've been um, in my um, board certification review course all day since 8 or well actually 7 45 is when I logged on for a zoom call and it is 12 o'clock in lunch time now and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Philly cheesesteak and actually I'm uploading this vlog so make sure you guys go watch it I'll link it up above here oh I'm ashy but anywho that's all that's on today's agenda this review course is two days from 8 to 5 both days from 8 to 5 both days and yeah, just gonna continue with my studying. So today's study plan, of course, is going to be um, review course. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a break after the review course later on. Maybe watch The Bachelor with mom and then um, do some pick monitors today. We're doing questions during the review course, so I don't, I'm not gonna, um, probably won't go over rush or um, board vitals today, but definitely, definitely, definitely will be um, going over pitmonics. And um, yeah, so that is um, what's on the agenda for today. I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube and eat my lunch and then get back to my course. So see you back in my review course. See if we're catching early hypertension, okay? That's an example of secondary prevention. Now what you wanna do Tell me now if you will 
Good afternoon <laughs> and happy, happy Tuesday. I am not a morning person and I am really, really not a morning person when I don't sleep at night. I was so tired yesterday doing a review course. I was in bed by eight and still didn't go to bed till two. I mean, I was so aggravated last night because I was so sleepy, but I just couldn't fall asleep. I had such bad anxiety and insomnia. Thanks because I'm worried about um, I'm worried about board, so. And everything else that comes along with just being an adult in life. And yeah, so while I'm most of the time always happy-go-lucky on this channel, this last few weeks have been weighing on me just because I know how important this test is. So bear with me, you guys. Um, it is. It's 12 o'clock. We're on our afternoon break from 12 to 1. Um, I'm going to eat. I do feel like eating. My stomach hurts so bad. And it's, a lot, it's just nerves and anxiety because this test is weighing on my conscience and my mind. So, oh yeah. So, I was up last night. So, that means I really was not into vlogging this morning so i just kind of got my stuff together put on some clothes oil up my scalp and yeah and this review course the presenter isn't the best either so i'm glad i've been reviewing on my own i'm so glad i purchased the nap nap review course back in october november october and i'm so glad i have my pediatric nurse certificate pediatric nurse practitioner practitioner certification guide the um, material that they provided to us throughout um, through the Fitzgerald course is really good but the presenter is just yeah I, I'm really ready to tap out but because it's been paid for and it was $475 and $425 that's just not a luxury I can you know do right now so I'm gonna you know gracefully finish the course and they have lots of great supplemental material that I'm really excited about so be able to recall Osgood Schlatter disease in this pneumonic by recalling this scene about an Australian soccer player with a knee injury It's 2.45, um, they had it um, slated to be from eight to five both days, but um, we were able to get through the entire book and I went and I booked Mark um, subjects, topics, um, diagnoses that I want to go and review a little bit more before my exam. And I'll um, go through and read about it and then I'll go look at the pit monitor for it. I know y'all sick and tired of me talk about pit money because my mama is sick and tired of me talk about pit money. <laughs> um, she's like, you talk about them so much. But the reason I talk about pit money so much is because for me, it works. And um, as a person, I didn't really struggle through nursing school. It, I think it would have made it a little bit easier for me. And hands down, I feel like it made my uh, me getting my nurse, uh, my master's in nursing um, a lot easier. So um, 
thank you to Pitmonic. Thank you to Pitmonic for working with me to um, give my um, colleagues, my future colleagues, um, a discount code. There is one in the link below. This is not sponsored at all. I That's just how much I love Pitmonic. So I want you guys, um, you know, see if it works for you. There is a free trial to see if it even um, can help you. But I'm such a visual learner. Just reading, I don't comprehend by just reading. Um, but I have to listen and see something. So I'm a visual auditory learner and that just works for me. So, um that's done like i said before i didn't sleep so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take a little bit of a nap um and then get back into study diary entry <laughs> that's what i feel like this is because i haven't uploaded it yet but um oh, i just want to give you guys an update <laughs> but i'm sitting here waiting i haven't been able to schedule my board set because I, we have to have our transcript our, sit directly from the school to uh, PNCB, which is my certification body. And I had it sent via regular snail <laughs> Not knowing that I, not realizing that I could send it electronically. Not that I'm ready to schedule my test anyway. And I just had the most cathartic um, conversation with my friend Joanne. First of all, she's been where I am. She just took her boards back in October to become an FMP, which is a family nurse practitioner. So she literally just, um, she's been where I am now. She, not really, well, I am stressing. I'm not gonna even lie, I'm stressing, I'm panicking, I'm crying, I can't sleep about boards. And it's just like, if you're not ready, you're not ready. So, um, my friend has spoken. She has brought me back down to earth. And I really appreciate that conversation, Joanne, more than you know, because um, I can talk to you and you understand exactly where I am versus like everybody knows like what's going on, but you can relate, you know, and you guys know that's why you're here because you can relate, you know, to going through your nurse practitioner journey, your nursing school journey, and it's difficult and I think it's like I said important for me to share not just like the fun amazing moments but also like the moments well I'm not sure of myself and you know I get nervous about you know um you know becoming a nurse practitioner so that's where we are now um I'm gonna see how I feel in the morning Good morning and happy th happy 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 Thursday. I didn't study at all yesterday um, because yesterday was inauguration day, as the whole world knows. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I just kind of watched all the inauguration festivities. I napped and I just kind of took a day to myself, just because. I um, uh, hope you guys can hear me, but. I just kind of took yesterday to myself because the previous two days I had did pretty much two um, last the Monday and Tuesday was um, I studied for 16 hours between Monday and Tuesday so eight hours on Monday eight hours on Tuesday and so I just kind of took yesterday to myself but we're back at it today we're going to be answering the questions that are um, in this book and we're going to be doing rush review questions today as well and yeah that is that so, um, <clears throat> so we're gonna be answering questions today and then just reviewing, you know, um, my week areas on Pitmonic as well. You guys know I love Pitmonic. So we're gonna be reviewing my week areas, um, which are ortho, neuro, cardio. <laughs> so cardiology, orthopedics, musculoskeletal, and um, neurology, so. Those are my weakest areas. I kind of got a good genetics. Kind of was my weak area, but I've kind of got a, gotten a grasp on genetics, respiratory, GI. That's all I pretty much saw as a pediatric nurse. So I could kind of pull from my experience from there, and human growth and development, and milestones, vaccinations. I think I've got a pretty good grasp on that too. So we're just gonna. Um, continue to answer questions and then i'm just gonna hone in on my week my week areas tip for today is 
whatever your week is in make sure you give plenty of time to that um because unfortunately no one knows what questions they're going to get on board of what category how many of each some people say like they never got any questions about xyz and they got a bunch of questions about this and then somebody else is like oh i got a bunch of questions on that and no questions on this so you have to review everything and I would um, hone in and focus your studying on what you are having the most difficult time with. So, yeah, let's get in. So I'm sitting here getting ready to go over questions and actually MPNCB just sent my email saying that I've been approved to take my test. <sighs> Dear Janine, we are pleased to inform you that your eligibility for the primary care certified pediatric nurse practitioner exam has been approved. To avoid additional fees, review your candidate handbook as soon as possible for the policies on changing test dates or failing to schedule your exam during your testing window. So I have 90 days from today. So I have between today, January 21st and April 21st to take my test. If y'all don't know, I got really bad anxiety. <laughs> Honestly, I've been I've been through this over and over and over and over. And if y'all don't know, now you know my model is either you know it or you don't. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna let's get into these questions, and I'll think about scheduling my test tomorrow or Saturday. I'll think about it then. Okay. I'm just so happy they finally got my freaking transcript. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Now these vlogs about to be long because the girl is freaking out. <laughs> okay, for real. Let me get into going over these questions. Actually, I need to contact Rosh and Board Vitals to see if I can get you guys a discount code. Because I love you that much. And also, another tip is I want you guys who are watching this to go ahead and purchase these um, questions now because it'll prepare you for your test as well. And I think, um, I'm pretty sure that you can select like which topic you want to um, have questions on. So yes, that's what I want you to do. Okay? Okay. Creeping up on me This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body You make some kind of fire within me Huh? Like it's burning through my skin Make myself feel warmer when you're near Whenever you're near 
for some brighter days Cause I'm falling in the snow, it's getting me deep You make some kind of fire with Good morning and happy, happy Friday. Oh, I. <laughs> Today I'm in better mood. Much, much better mood than I have been. Cause, oh Lord, I tell you, my. I was nervous. I did. I was nervous and not even excited, but just nervous and anxious and you know, all the emotions, all the bills. But anyway, same thing. I think I'm actually getting ready to schedule my test for next Friday. Today is, oh, Friday. Either next Friday or next Saturday, which is like 28th or the 29th. And you know, I'm gonna put my faith and my trust in God that I've done what I needed to do and to just, it's, it's time, so. I got up this morning, I did my my devotional, and I did my prayer, and God just reassured me that he's in my corner to trust him, he has my back, and yeah. So, today we're just gonna uh, continue doing questions, and any questions that I'm having a hard time grasping the understanding of the pathophysiology of, I am then going to go over to my Pitmonic just to get a better understanding. So questions, Pitmonic, questions, Pitmonic. Um, but as I, um, as always, do what's best for you. Um, I am going to give you guys a formal video of how I studied as well. But um, I know um, a lot of you guys are like me. I am you. You are me. <laughs> And you want to see the actual, like, oh, how did she actual study? And like I said, I want to one look um, back on this. It's like, girl, you be worried about nothing. And then um, two, just, you know, uh, kind of like a behind the scenes diary of my emotions, my feelings. And um, just to kind of have that as memory. So, and like I said, I know you guys like it. And I'm going to, like I said, give you a form of video on how to study like this is what I did and any other useful tips that I may think of that I, they were not in these videos. So let's get into it. Rush review, Pitmonic, let's go. Hi you guys and happy Saturday. I mean Saturday is um, actually almost over, it's 5.30. <laughs> but yesterday, what did I do yesterday? I did um, a few questions and Pitmonics and then I napped and I hung out with friends all night. If you do not follow me on Instagram, go ahead and make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see the fun that I had with my friends up here in Baltimore. We had a good time. I haven't seen them in forever and we just caught up and just had a really good time. But um, I want to go ahead and close out the today's vlog because I know while I'm editing, I'm gonna be like, I forgot to close out the vlog. So I'm gonna close out this week's um, study with me for boards, hopefully. Um, probably the last week or next week technically is going to be last week because i'm hoping to take boards next friday or saturday yes i talked to my god and he said he, he think it's time <laughs> but before i close out the vlog i want to shout out my sister my best friend wanting this leopard purple leopard cup and she finally made it and y'all, I mean, and she could put my name on it. If you know me, know me. Y'all know I love leopard and that's just my thing. And yeah, so make sure you guys go visit Way Too Cute Creations. That's her business information there. And I'll link her Etsy page down below. She um, does shirts. She does cups. She does ornaments, um, onesies, you name it. She's probably done it and can do it if she hasn't tried it out because she's just that amazing. So I just want to go ahead and close out this week's study with me. And you guys already know what to do. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave all your comments down below. Um, I will announce next week I'm going to be giving away something very, very, like I reached out to this company um, to see if I can get a discount code, but they offered me something even better. So 
um i will tell you guys all about it and how you can enter in to win the um giveaway that um i'm gonna be sponsoring on my page i'm so excited because this is just the first of many sponsorships that um, i'm gonna be hopefully um getting this year um, so make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave any comments you have down below. Make sure you subscribe, 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 and make sure you what? Make sure you tell a friend. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo! And I will see you guys next week, hopefully for my last study with me. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Your pay? It's a mission trip. I got to pay to go. No. Okay. You don't. It, it, it's non-profit. It's volunteer basis. Oh. So why are you out? Mm. Um. Mm. I'm gonna wash tomorrow, so I'm gonna need your sheets and your towels. Cause I know you're gonna be studying all day, so we don't need. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Why are you being stupid? I know, right? I'm just so excited. Mom's watching my vlog. She's watching my vlog again. Yeah. Anyway.